Welcome back friends. We are heading to the city to get everything we need for Easter Sunday. We're going to Costco, we are going to Whole Food. Rings in the fish, there we go. Want to put kale chips in your Easter basket, honey? Yeah. Give me a card again. Does it look good? No. Oh my it's an avocado. On to the next step. Um, healthy diet all out the window. Well, let's see if I actually leave with all of it. Oh, that's a wrap. Ooh, look at that tire. What a great homeschooling project. Now we're going to start filling Easter eggs. Welcome back friends. We are heading to the city to get everything we need for Easter Sunday. We are going to Costco. We are going to Whole Foods. Down below I will have the grocery list for you in printable and downloadable form if you care to print that out and take it with you next time you're going to Costco or Whole Foods. I also cannot wait to share with you today's sponsor. Absolutely amazing and just in time for spring and summer. Also in this video we're going to be sharing with you our Easter baskets. I had a lot of requests asking what we're going to put in our kids Easter baskets this year so that's coming up as well. We'll see you there. Okay, here we are. We are here. Oh, they have Easter lilies. Beautiful. We have our Easter lilies. We well, we have a plant with Easter lilies in them, but those are beautiful. These are $10.99 for a six inch Easter lily. If you saw our last video, I bought a really pretty planter from Costco, super great deal. And within that planter, there was an Easter lily in there. So I'm really excited about that. We're hoping it doesn't bloom until Sunday. Yeah. Then nothing opens. <laughs> so we're gonna start over in the bakery. And on our way there, I think I'm gonna get some Easter goodies for our snack cart. That video is coming up too. Right here, sweetheart. These are the throat coat drops that we got. This Sue sore throat. And they're on sale right now for $3.77. The sale goes through the 2nd of April. Why don't you grab two bags? I'm gonna grab one of each. Okay, sure. You want to try it? Yeah, that, that works. Can I open I, it now? You right? can open it now. We're going to pay for it. Yeah, if you need one right now, absolutely open Pray for Hannah. She has to work all week. She goes, I have a tickle in my throat, Mom. I need those cough drops. So soothes sore throats and relieves coughs. So if you're coughing, this would be really good for that. This is more like a tickle in your throat kind of thing. Okay, this so, is the one we have at home. Yes, I think so. Coloring farting animals. <laughs> oh, Oh, that's actually for real? That's for real, like every day. Welcome to Whole Foods. Okay, so I want to see if they have... Oh my gosh, I didn't think they were going to have them. They don't. Oh, really? Look at, they're all gone. They do have the egg ones. These are two for six. Well, you know, I don't know if I want to get these. They're tropical eggs. No, no. I'm going to stick to the ones that I know they're not like Easter themed, okay. but they're super good and they've had them. I don't know if those are any good. No, oh, that is super cute. Like it's I love that. So, so we just might before. go with some of the ones we've had before that we know are good. Like everyone loves the Swedish fish kind the of thing here. Yeah. So why don't we just get there two for six? We'll just get like two or how many bags we get? We'll get two bags. two bags. Yeah, because we usually get a variety of different things. Sour melon bites and those are I think it's like peachy rings. Kind of kind of like Ooh, Easter kind of thing. Rings in the fish, there we go. Yeah, I think that's kind of like yeah. That's a good yeah. idea. Good choice. I'm also gonna grab some of these little organic California raisins. So what I do with these is I end up buying a couple boxes of these and then we just refill them. But it's been a while, so we definitely need to refill them. And then I'm gonna put these in their Easter baskets. You will see this going in there. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in the cart. And our Swedish fish. Okay, so I'm having a really hard time finding a really good jelly bean. And all of my kids love gummy bears. So we've actually had these before. It's $8.99 for 1.56 pounds. So instead of filling up the jelly bean jar, we're going to fill it up with bears. Will that be okay now? If we find the jelly beans when we're here, I'll switch it out. But for right now, we've had these before and the kids love them. It does have natural flavors, but sort of the jelly beans. So it doesn't matter. It's Easter Sunday, right? Right. Want to put kale chips in your no. in your Easter basket, honey? No. Yeah. Give me a card again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to pick up some cookies for Easter, and they have the cutest cookies ever here. We don't need a ton of them because we're having apple pie and strawberry French toast and all that kind of stuff. But tea and snack, we're having cookies along with tea. Whatever you guys want to do. Like they have the Easter cookies here, and they have the carrots. Those look really great. <laughs> Then they have butterflies on this side. So we'll definitely have to pick up some of the little orange carrots. 
I would definitely get some purple eggs. Obviously, right now, we're not worried about health and wellness because we're picking out cookies for Easter. A lot of people have asked me, do your kids ever have treats? When they leave the house, they're going to not know how to handle themselves. Two carrots. Two carrots. And here we are. See, my children get a variety of food. They really do. Then we'll get some of the purple eggs. Can we see those? Oh, they're so cute. Piece of paper in between. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we got two of the Easter eggs and then two of the little carrots. Yes, my love. Vegan strawberry jelly cookie and then she likes a rainbow one as well. Should we give one each? Okay, so you're picking out one of the rainbow cookies yeah, and a one of the vegan strawberry jelly cookies. Yep, those are the two she picked out. That looks really good. That's a good choice, baby. That's a good choice. So we're kind of checking out all of the goods here, and I don't see hot cross buns, so but I think I'm going to have to make them myself or come up with something different maybe that day. This is a date. doesn't look good at all. Does it look good? No, I didn't think so either. What are you gonna name the picky? Can I try guessing? Is are you gonna name it bacon? Willie. You name it Willie? They have the Kerrygold cheddar with whiskey here. I saw this last time I came in. It does cost more than going to Costco where it's like $6.99 a pound, but this is a little bit different than the other Kerrygold. This is $23.99 a pound. It's $2 off per pound and it's $7.44. Okay, so they also had Dubliner cheese, but we went ahead and got one of the whiskey to have on Sunday, just a little something special. Anything else here, babe, that you see? Do you want to add? I know there's so much. They have like a triple cream oh that's a triple cream brie i do like the brie from costco so we're gonna get that one there do you know what's really good cheese also is trader joe's they have a great selection wait look at look at this one's called this one's called the holy trinity <laughs> would that be something we would get for sunday you should totally do that for the sunday seven dollars oh it's a gouda what what else is in here though i can't read it there's green bell peppers onions celery chives garlic cultures enzymes and salt you pick out the one you want that actually sounds really good. So we got two more little fun bricks of cheese for Sunday. Are we good then? I'm good. Okay, he's good. Here we go. So here are the ones we came up with. This is a whiskey one from Kerrygold. Nice. Holy Trinity. <laughs> yeah, I love That's that. It's perfect for Sunday. That's awesome. Okay, so they have the sliced salami here for the charcuterie board for Sunday. No antibiotics ever. My kids love salami. We really don't buy it very much, so I think that'd be a really great treat for them. So pick up one of those. Okay, so we're going to grab 24 of the eggs. We're doing French toast with strawberries and whipped cream on Sunday. So we're doing scrambled eggs with potato hash. We're going to probably do some deviled eggs. So we're going to grab four of these. Perfect. There you go. The organic restorative eggs are $10.99. Those are not on sale. But these are on sale. Okay, so we need to get Kelowna, which is $8.79 here. It's cheaper at our co-op, so we're going to go to our co-op to pick that up. But I just want to show you what we're getting. The Kelowna milk here is about the same price, a little bit cheaper at our co-op. But the only other place I can find it is at Whole Foods. Let me show you what that looks like. We always go with the whole milk. So it's $8.79. Low ton pasteurization, grass-fed cows, and Regenda farming. So it's a really good source of milk if you can't get raw. Same with the whipped cream. It's at $1.50 cheaper at our co-op, so we're going to get that there. But if all you have is a Whole Foods, this is worth the $9.99. Uh, low time pasteurization, non-homogenized, grass-fed cows, single-family farms. This is going to go on our table to go with our French toast. So the cottage cheese is on sale for $4.67. So we're going to pick up two or three of those because my husband can eat that in a night. And I love cottage cheese, and little Cecilia loves it. So can you grab three of the green? Yeah, I'll just hold on to that. And then grab... We need someone tall and strapping. Look at that. Oh, coffee in hand. Coffee Three. I found, there was a video, did I send it to you about the eggs? It's an egg vending machine outside of a farm. Uh -huh. Isn't that cool? Okay, so three. We got three of them. So this is the good culture. This is a double cream classic cottage cheese. 14 grams of protein, 6% milk. The ingredients right there, that's really clean. And look at that, pasture raised, simple ingredients. That's what we're looking for. So good. If you can find this, give it a try. If you've had it before, let me know down below in the comments if you like it. Okay, so this is a super great deal. This is $6.97. Was $9.29 for bacon. So this comes out to be about $13 a pound, which is a pretty good deal. I'm going to pick up two of these. 
to have, I'm thinking maybe in our potato soup. Ooh, Adding some bacon nice. to that would be really, really a nice touch, right? Actually, you know what? I'm going to get one more because that's a really good deal. We pay $17.99 a pound for bacon. Nice. It's organic, so delicious and so good. Yum. Okay, we're going to get some of the grass-fed lamb stew meat. It's $11.99 a pound. We're going to add some of the lamb stew meat to our beef stew. So we're going to have a little bit of beef and a little bit of lamb. $25.18, it was $11.99 per pound. So we're going to give that a whirl. I've never had lamb stew meat, which I believe comes from the shoulder. So I'm excited to try that. There we are. Okay, we're going to pick up some potatoes. And they have the yellow potatoes. Then they have the russet potatoes. So I think we're going to go with the yellow. They're cheaper. They're just going in a stew. And then we're going to have them for breakfast too. So there's two. And these are what size pound bags? Oh, these are three pound bags. So now we have nine. And now we have 12. We'll do 12 pounds. We'll make it work. There's a lot of food. Okay, I'm gonna grab six carrots. It's for Sunday. Just six of them. Six just, yep, we're just gonna grab what we need. Because I already have a big bag at home of carrots, but I'm gonna be using that on broth and other things. So I'm just gonna grab exactly what we need for that day. Beautiful. Thank you. <gasps> I like this one though. That's super cute. I think one reminds you of like a watermelon. Oh, it's a bug hotel. So you probably put that outside for bugs to live in. Look at the froth bomb. Oh it's an avocado. It's like a bath bomb, but that is super cute. That's so Ooh, these are always fun. The kids love face doing face masks. Okay, so I'm waiting for my protein powder to come in. So I'm just gonna pick up two of these organic plant-based proteins. 20 grams of protein, 160 in calories. The ingredients look really good. I've never had this before, but I'm gonna get two of them. See if I like it. I don't know. I like the one I get, it's just not here yet. But it'll be here, so. Okay, we're also gonna grab some water. Loving this water so much. Okay, that's a wrap. That's everything that we needed from Whole Foods. On to the next trip. Okay, everything we needed for our Easter. Are you excited for Easter? Are you? Is Caitlin coming for the week to see us? It's your twin, isn't she? She's your 20 year old twin. 20, well, she's 25, almost 25, but they have a 20 year difference, so. She sat in the cart the whole time, didn't ya? The whole time. Do you want me to zip up your coat? Yeah. My husband brought the car up. Whole Foods wasn't a really big haul, but we had everything we needed for Easter, which is so good. Okay, here we go. Look at that sky. Whew. Going to Costco. Okay, so this is probably going to be one of our smaller hauls. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to go through the store, get everything we need. We have our grocery list, right? Yep. We're going to stick to the list today. And I love this because there's like no one here. Look at the difference when you don't come on the weekend. This is crazy. And it's later. We're here pretty late. We're here at 647. So I kind of like it this way. You have the whole store to yourself today, Cecilia. These are morning buns, but we can make little crosses on the top. With white frosting. With white frosting. And we can put like maybe some craisins or raisins on the frosting. And that would kind of be very similar. And that's perfect because I'm not going to eat these. There's, There's nine. nine in here, which is good for you guys. Yeah, yeah I was going to say most of us will split. Anyways. Yeah. So let's do one of those. I've never seen these here. I think these are here just for us. Okay, so we need an apple pie. Not making apple pie. Well, we're just going to get this one. March 27th, other oh, same day. So we don't need it until Sunday. I think they'll be okay. Yeah. That That's the sell-by date. Okay, we're also going to grab an apple pie. This is obviously not a normal kind of haul for us, but we're definitely getting some treats. And then we're going to come over here and grab some muffins because that wasn't enough. I think good. the coffee cake looks good. And they have chocolate. Yeah, they have blueberry. And then I think over there, that's banana. Is it? That's vanilla chocolate cake over there. Two for $9.99. Hannah, want to help us pick out a flavor? I want the coffee cake one. Which, what are you guys thinking? Okay. So, um, healthy diet. I'll out the window. Chunks. 
Easter Sunday is a special day in our home, so we are gonna just splurge a little bit. We got some muffins. We have the coffee cake muffins, and then we have the double chocolate. Okay. Apple pie, and that's for Friday. That's artificial food I've ever seen in our cart. Yeah, right? I know, that's cray cray. Well, let's see if I actually leave with all of it. Hopefully I don't change, I'm really good at that. I'm like, well, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we just shouldn't buy that. But the nice thing is, you and I probably won't eat anything. No, and then what we normally do, whatever we don't finish, we don't use, we bring to our neighbors. Okay, Let's go into the cold cooler and go get a few things in here. I know we need some grapes. Okay, we're going to pick up some grapes. They're $2.99 a pound. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm also going to grab some peppers, just one bag for the potato hash and egg skillet. Look at this cart, all this sugar. <laughs> all the sugar. Here's some peppers. Definitely not a keto cart. Nope, it is surely not. Did you find something, Cece? What is that? Is it a game? Okay, we are going to make a lamb stew. They have one lamb left. <laughs> lamb leg boneless roast comes out to be $27, $4.99 a pound. They have one left. We are so lucky. Wow, really? Just one. So we're going to be making a lamb stew on Easter, and we're actually going to just cut the leg of lamb up. It's completely empty. It's sitting there just for us. Okay, I'm going to pick up some whole chickens. We're also having a potato and chicken stew. And Tana, you want to grab a bag, babe? Am I liking the whole chickens? Because I get to use the bones. So you get a whole bunch of chicken and a whole bunch of meals for your money. Not only will we be able to make stew, we'll also be able to make bone broth. So I think this one, well, let's see. Let's get a really good one. This one looks good right here. You want to grab this one? Beautiful. Okay, my husband's looking at... This is chuck roast. Oh, for pot roast. Then we can just let it simmer all day and just pull it apart. <gasps> that sounds really good. So let's do that. We're going to do this over the leg of lamb. It's a little bit more than the leg of lamb, but that's okay because we already got lamb at Whole Foods. So then we'll do this as well. This looks really good. Let's just grab this one. We'll have leftovers. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to put back the leg of lamb. Perfect. Put that back. And we're going to get this. See how we do that? We we always change our minds when we're here. So we actually bought another one. So now we have two. <laughs> I think we're going to make this tomorrow just to have it. And it looks good, doesn't it? Have one. Oh, we do have that Squishmallow. Julie bought that the last time she was here. Want to get out? You can go walk with Hannah. Okay, the Kerrygold is still on sale. Phenomenal deal. Kerrygold Dubliner cheese, 360 off per package through the end of the month. I don't know if it's the same deal by you, but I'm going to grab one more of those for sure. And then we're also going to grab some brie. The brie is $9.99 here. Absolutely love the brie. Here we go for our charcuterie boards for Easter. Perfect. So we're going to pass by the grass bed. <laughs> The grass-fed burgers, we're really passing that up. We are. We are getting a strawberry since we're having French toast, sourdough French toast, with strawberry compote and whipped cream for second breakfast. It's going to be so much fun. One bag of broccoli. We're making a potato and broccoli stew. Cold. <laughs> and we're just about done. Okay, so feedback on the mush overnight oats for $6.99. Complete hit. All of my kids loved them so much. They wanted more of them and more of them. So I'm going to get another pack because that's a great deal. And I will not be back before the sale is over. Um, and then I'm going to grab one more pack of the Polish sausage because I'm not going to be back. And I like to pick up more of these because they're such a great deal. And these are $12.49 for 36 ounce package. Comes out to be $5.55 a pound. And so it's $4.50 off. Not a lot of butter in here. I'm gonna grab one more thing of butter. Do you wanna put the butter in the cart for me? Thank you. Whoa. Okay, you know what we need now? We need pistachios and pumpkin seeds. If you go really fast, you won't buy anything else. All right, let's go. So I wanted to report back on the seven Sundays wild berry protein oats. These are really good. I had just a very little bit this morning to try it. Super delicious. There you go, thank you. I need one more bag of these sauté chips for nachos. 
Excellent, thank you. Do you see the Jacksons? Salmon skins. Ooh. You want to grab one of those? I think we already have one in the basement, right? You can grab one. <gasps> Do you love those? Yeah. I'm going to grab one box of the sourdough bread. We didn't need too much. Nope. Just a good. few things. So good. Okay, I'm going to grab some pumpkin seeds. These are my favorites. They are organic spreaded pumpkin seeds. Two ingredients, sea salt and pumpkin seeds. Eight grams of protein, really high in magnesium, potassium. So they're really, really, really quite good for you. One last thing, we need pistachios. $13.99. So I'm just going to pick up a bag of pistachios. And now, well, that's a wrap. I know you're Sweeney, but we should probably go check out before we can go bye-bye. Come on, bye. Sweeney. Fine, you stay here in Sweeney. I'm going to go home. Bye. Okay, that is a wrap. Everything we needed for Easter and then a little bit more, but pretty much it's for Easter Sunday. All right, let's check out and get the grand total. Ready to go home? take a minute to share with you our sponsor for today with our new moon cool bike got to experience it for the first time and it has become one of my favorite bikes to ride all over my city so in this video i'm showing you exactly how this bike came to us it is 75 percent pre-assembled with a free front basket and rear basket that is one of my favorite parts because wait till you see what i can actually carry in this so what i'm featuring here is a shimano 7 speed shifter. It has a 48 volt 15A lithium battery, has a 500 watt high power motor, 20 inch 4.0 fat tire, and it comes in multiple colors. This is the color we chose. I think it's gorgeous. We turned this into a homeschool project and they just had the greatest time. So I love that this bike came pre-assembled. That means a lot for us. It makes it very easy. The instructions are super easy to follow. And this TK1 fat tire is ready i'm telling you for any adventure and i love bringing simplicity into my life and with these bikes you can actually just travel pretty much anywhere because of the size of the tires my husband is super excited to take it to our state parks and ride it so we're going to try it out in the snow come fall and winter we are here in wisconsin so look for this beautiful bike showcase throughout multiple videos this spring and summer i'm just super thrilled to be working with moon cool i've been able to test it out review it and use it all over over the place i highly recommend it if you type in nsl 100 you will get an exclusive discount on your very own tk1 fat tire bike thank you so much moon cool for sponsoring today's video now let's go build some easter baskets so this year we decided to keep Easter baskets really simple and just buy them things that I knew they were going to use on a daily basis with some sweets and treats. We decided to go with the white medium basket. Now these baskets we just found at Walmart, really reasonably priced. We got two different kinds of grasses. Those were also found at Walmart, super good deal on that. We mixed everything up. My husband and myself always do this. This is something we do as a couple every single year. We bought some bubbles because you can never have too many bubble ones. Those bubbles were used the very first day they opened them up, and I believe we need to refill them already. We bought Cecilia a couple of really sweet books. They also came from one of our Aldi hauls. Yes, I bought Oreo cookies because they had the Mario theme to them, and I have children that love Mario. We always buy our children books. We try to give them books that have some type of religious meaning behind them, something that will help them spiritually grow, or something like that. And then we always add fun stuff, you know, like the nail polish. This year we found the blue containers. Those we found at Costco. There's three in a box and we're just going to divide those between Sophie and Cecilia. The cutest marshmallows ever. So my older girls wanted those. That little mushroom was for my daughter Grace who is a Super Mario gamer. We found some really cute Legos. Those came from Aldi. Those will go to my boys and Sophia. A couple more books for Julia and Hannah and all my kids will share books. So it's not something that is just for one child. They all like to share them. The dinosaur dig kit is for Sophia. She loves Jurassic Park. Absolutely loves it. Thought that was perfect. Now, these are face masks. I don't know if they're 100% clean, but my girls love this brand. So once or twice a year, 
Once at Christmas and once at Easter, I put them in their baskets and in their stockings, and they love to have a girls' pampering party. That is the best thing I've ever found. That is an only quarter holder for my daughter. I actually got two of those. We found some more little things. All these came from Aldi. I don't know if you saw those any of my finds or any of my hauls. We bought some cough drops because there are some colds going around. And now we're going to start filling the Easter baskets. I don't like buying a lot of candy, but during Easter and Christmas, I allow a few extra things. So like the York peppermint patties and M&Ms, those are favorites of my children. So whenever we ask, what kind of snack do you want? Anything they want. A lot of them like the M&Ms and the York peppermint patties, so we pick those. And we're going to go ahead and also fill Easter baskets with some money and some change, jelly beans, all that kind of fun stuff for outside because we also do an Easter egg hunt. We also gave them some tea to go along with their pampering evening. We love those teas. And then all I'm going to do now, I will end up putting everything together all nice and neat and pretty and you'll have it all prepared for Easter morning. Okay, so obviously I was just kind of throwing things in the basket. We will end up going through everything, make it look all pretty. In the morning, I will show you what they all look like. It's getting late now. We're going to dye some Easter eggs. Tomorrow morning, I'll bring you back down with me for Easter morning. I'm going to be filming everything going on, all the things. You'll see their Easter baskets, everything they got. 